you for joining us once again. I remain my humble self, Ogundele Abiola Samson. I hope you enjoyed the last class uh, that uh, our students one unit two, which we are dealing with etymology. I think by now you now understand very clearly that we have different kind of archers. Not all archers are bad. We have those that are, are black archers. We have those that are grey archers. We have those that are white archers. So the black archers are those that gain access to your informations on the internet for selfish and monetary purpose. We have those that are uh, grey archers. These ones they gain access to your information on the internet uh, in order just to warn you, not to harm you, but to warn you and to, to warn you so that you can protect your information on the internet and sometimes to advertise their self to you. Okay, so we have those that are white hackers. So the white hackers are those that gain access to your data and information on the internet because you employ and approve them to do so and these are those we call etiquette archives so uh, before you finish our meal with us finish your course with us this is the kind of archive we want you to become so and the, all this we are going to be teaching you is for educational purpose and is for employment purpose is not for fraudulent so any art of uh any art of irresponsibility you are going to be dealt with accordingly according to the standard of the laws of your country. So please, this is for educational purpose and this is for employment purpose. So all the things you're going to be taught is for educational and is for job purposes. So if any of you try to use what we are teaching you here for fraudulent purpose or for criminal purpose, you are going to be dealt with legally. Thank you. I believe we are now very much aware that it is not all hackers that are bad. There are some that are good, and these are white hackers. And other name we call them is ethical hackers. So now, if you want to be equipped by Mr. John, who is an ethical hacker, that I explained to you in previous units, there are some basic requirements you need to work as an etiquette professional just like mr john just like mr john so now in this unit which is uh in this unit i'm going to be dealing with those requirements i'm going to be dealing with those requirements that you need so in this unit which is uh, series one unit three in this unit which is series one unit three you are going to be dealing with requirements to become an etiquette hacker. So in this unit, I repeat again, just like Mr. John, if you want to become a professional etiquette hacker, you are going to be dealing with those requirements that is very, very important and relevant to your Sir John. So now, there are three major requirements. There are three major requirements. The three major requirements and those requirements are we have clinical requirements we have informational requirements and we have certificational requirements i repeat again we have clinical requirements we have informational requirements and we have certificational requirements so now without further ado let's dive into the first requirement which is clinical requirements What clinical is talking about flawless, is talking about natural, is talking about basic, is talking about original way. So clinical requirement is talking about the original requirement, the natural requirement, the basic requirement, or one of the most important requirements you need to become an etiquette hacker. So I will be doubling into those requirements uh, one after the other. Doubling those requirements one after the other. So let's check those clinical requirements that we need to become an etiquette hacker. So uh, basically, if you want to become an etiquette 
Haka, uh, the clinical requirements include environment number one, language number two, and network number three. So this is the basic or the clinical requirements. You need environment, you need language, and you need networking. Environment is talking about your field, your territory, where you can carry out your hacking. That is to say, the channels of carrying out your hacking, the channel, the platform to carry out your hacking. So that is to say, those gadgets, any gadget that has all these things, these are the gadgets you can hack. Uh, so those uh, environments include different operating systems. Example is Windows, you know, like my system now, Windows, Windows, and we have different window, window 7, that window 7, we have window 8, we have window 10, and blah, 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 a lot of windows. So if you don't have basic knowledge of uh, operating window, you don't know how to make use of window, you can run Okay. Another one is Lenos. So some uh, gadget these days use Lenos. You must know how to operate Lenos. You must know how to operate Lenos. Then the next one is Unix. It's another operating system for gadget, internet gadget these days. You must know how to operate uh, Unix. So another one is iOS. iOS. This one with Apple shape. iOS. That's for like your Apple phones and the rest of them. You must know how to operate those kind of uh, gadgets. They are Windows. Cannot operate your windows you find it very hard to penetrate or to hack those another one again which is not listed here is uh, let's say os operating system for android phone you must know how to operate android phone like just basic operate on and off and the rest double around the windows if not so you cannot really become an etiquette actor so the second uh, a requirement the second clinical so the, so the second so the second clinical requirement is programming languages you must understand different programming languages we have the first one here is html the one with a yeah, kind of capital letter s you must know how to operate html languages study it as an etiquette hacker you must know how operation you must know website designing basically so you must understand a language called PHP. So PHP is what we use to design our response sites, some of those sites that, that does responsive duties. So we have Python. The third one is Python, the one with blue and yellow symbol is called Python. That is the symbol for Python. You must understand Python programming languages. You must understand SQL. So we use SQL basically to design our database. To understand SQL. Then you must understand JavaScript, very important. This other one with um, blue is having JS. You must understand JavaScript. There's another one again, you must understand Perry. P E R I L. You must understand Perry. P E R I L. You must understand the, the third languages. The third. Uh, the, so, uh, you must understand networking. So, networking is just the basic way of connecting two systems together. Just the basic way of connecting two or more systems together. Uh, so, as an etiquette hacker, you'll be dealing with internet, dealing with wireless, dealing with uh, a lot of connection, both uh, world land network and local land network. So, you must really have basic knowledge of networking. And that's why most etiquette hackers they are certified with Cisco certification. I am privileged. We have like two Cisco certification. So now the next requirement to become an etiquette hacker is information. So the next requirement is informational requirement. So this one is talking about basic steps and procedure. So this one is just talking about basic step to follow in order to have data and information legally on the internet as an etiquette hacker so the legal way the legal procedure to follow to uh, penetrate information and data on the internet as an etiquette hacker so 
the first step as an educator hacker is called resonance resonance so then the first step is called resonance resonance and what is resonance resonance is just talking about this the procedure of gathering relevant information related to a particular scene of fraudulent so it's a process of gathering relevant information related to a particular case of crime process of gathering information related to a particular case of crime so for example someone just met you as an ethical card that the bank account is act so you need to gather some relevant information what time where which bank what were you doing your children having access to uh, your atm have you used your atm to buy some things online via all these e-commerce sites and the rest of them so this is what we call resonance we gather relevant information around the tentacles of the present relevant crime so the next one is called scanning face scanning face so scanning face is the process whereby you use basic website to check to not check that account or check that website that, that was at to check which access was opened which access was opened that buffeted which asset was open that buffeted the hacker to penetrate and what i mean by that is you scan to check okay where was opened that allow the hackers to use as an opportunity to penetrate inside the site or the account so for example you know when there's a crime around our area the police will come they will check around okay where did the armor robber follow is it the gate is it the window is it uh, through the fence so that's what we for scanning face we check which aspect uh, is it through the data page is it through the home page is it through uh, buy now page if it's internet if it's uh, if it's bank case you check through what through app which app did they use to withdraw all your money is it did they withdraw the money through bet ninja did they withdraw it through uh siphon did they withdraw it through cofon for instance did they use pellet did they use um, fake flash alert app you see different kind of for instance so you just assess and uh, as a checkmate so you try to check what did they use so so you see in this scanning we try to check what did they really use and what open that makes them to penetrate so you try to check is he the home page that was porous is he the about us page that was porous if it's bank case did the atm machine that was porous or that was hijacked is he your atm code that is too easy uh, are you too careless with it so you check all those things under scanning the under scanning you will try to check which software did they use to penetrate that they use pellet did they use mallet did they use flash account yeah, did they use flash account app you also check some other thing where did they transfer those money to so that's what you do under scanning that's what you do under scanning the next one is gaining access so gaining access now you will not use your own app to penetrate so you will use your app app to act through the path those hackers are uh, used to penetrate that account for example if it's through atm you to you go through that scene you, you go through that scene if it's on page your own page you go through that that scene to, to really follow the modality and see what are those track record they have left on the ground and see the path they follow so that you know the best way to clean up their mess so getting access now is you to you will penetrate you will act so getting access is you to you are acting to the data the vulnerability you have seen so through scanning you see the vulnerability you see the open space if it's fence through fence for example if it's the house now if, if it's through window that the amber penetrates so the policeman can follow through the window to, to really see how convenient it is so ringing in that you follow the same path they follow really see how convenient and what are those things they have done the damages the, the, the next one is maintaining access so in maintaining access this place you create your footprint Create your footprint for example if it's facebook account when you enter the facebook account you put your own banner you put some writer you do a lot of things to let people know that oh this thing you know, uh came back my my account back so as an etiquette can you take your footprint try to let 
viewers or people to have their way or the actors to create a sense to them that you are the boss, you have gained back what belongs to you. To clear clearing tracks is nice. To clean all the mess. Maybe they have chatted with some people through the Facebook account. Message them and apologize and say you are if they put some banners there, you give their banner, change their name, you clean all their mess. So if it's a uh, bank, when you have the account, you report to the bank account, you clean the mess by changing the pin they have changed, change the ATM, do basic clean up. So the last one is report. If you are working with the company, then you file it well documented and submit the uh, report to the company after you are done with all your assessment so this is what we call informational requirement the last requirement so now let's go to the last requirement the last requirement is what we call certification you see ethical hacking is a very crucial course and it's very very legal so you don't refer yourself as an ethical account without any certification you are in for problem you could be arrested so certification is not enough. You must be affiliated to a professional body. You must have a certificate to authenticate that you learn this legally. And thank God, that's why you are in Luminous Global Institute because they are here to certify you. So I'll show you some basic um, certifications. A basic certificate that is very important for ethical hackers to have if they really want to go global and want to be highly professional. So we have SEC, that is Certified Etiquette Hacker, Certified Etiquette Hacker, that is the first certificate. We have Penta Test Plus, we have Penta Test Plus. We also have LPT, that is Learned Penetration Tester, Learned Penetration Tester. We have Cyber Security Expert, we have Cyber Security Expert. He said Certified Etiquette Hacker, Penta Test, we have Certified penetration tester, we have cyber security expert, we have OSINT, that is O-S-I-N-T, OSINT, we have OSINT, we have uh, Cisco, S-I-S-C-O, capital letter, we have Cisco, we also have um, C-C-N-A, we have C-C-N-A, we have C-C-N-A, we have C-N-A, we have CCNA, we have CNA, we have uh, penetration. So we have a lot of them. By God's grace, I'm having up to 35 certification. So I am good to go to teach you and also certify you. So to round it off, I want to really say this so that you'll be very serious with this course. You see, uh, the analytical report that was released by America in 2021 shows that we have six trillion dollar being made from the from internet fraud. Six shows that we have six billion dollar being made from internet fraud. Can you beat that? So that shows as an ATK hacker, your market is very versatile. That shows as an ATK hacker, you are not just asking for money alone. You are also a technology pastor and you are also a technological doctor because a lot of companies, a lot of people will die through this uh, fraudulent heart. You could save a lot of companies. You could heal a lot of people from emotional trauma. You could heal a lot of people from financial bank bankruptcy. So your market is very wide. I'm enjoining you to please be very focused, be very intentional, be very serious because you are going to get the best with us. So, to round it up, I'm going to give you a classwork. It's a quiz you comment below. This quiz, your answer. I'm going to mark it as part of your record. Guess what? You can carry over this as an institution. If you didn't meet up with your bridge, you carry it over to the next, uh, the next academic section. And after the next academic section, if you cannot meet up with the maximum mark, you will be withdrawn. So our, our maximum mark is 50, pass is 50. So 40 is not 50, 40 is not pass. Here, 50 is the cutoff mark. 
If you don't have up to 50 over 100, you are failed. You will repeat it again next year. So this is your password. Comment it below immediately with your name, your matric number, and your answer. So that is the, the method, your name, your matric number, and your answer. So here is, is the question. In which phase of ethical hacking will you install backdoors in target system? In which phase of ethical hacking will you install backdoors in ethical hacking? That is to say, in which phase of ethical hacking will you create your presence? In which phase of ethical hacking will you create your footprint, your presence in ethical hacking? So in which phase of ethical hacking? Will you create your present? Will you put your fingerprint? That's what we call install backdoors. Which phase of ethical hacking will you create your present? A. Canning. B. Maintaining access. C. Cleaning, clearing up tracks. And the last one, reconnaissance. So, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. So, please, if you have not subscribed, click subscribe and click notification bell. Get all our details. But if you have subscribed and you, have, and you have not clicked the notification bell, please click the notification bell, click like, stay tuned for the next class. Thank you.